Hey YouTube, this is Scarecrow Kaiser. I'm gonna do a quick deck profile on my Musketeer build. Um, but first, I'm gonna start out by giving a shout out to my friend Jonathan SP Mineham. Um, he's a pretty cool guy. If you're not subscribed to him, you should. Um, I'll think of, I'm gonna try and get a uh, link down below. Um, yeah, he's been playing Musketeers a lot. Um, I'm aware of how he plays it. Um, so, I was aware of it going into it when I got all the new stuff and tried it all out. I kind of started at the opposite end, so instead of just starting with his, so I could come to my own conclusions. But ultimately, after a lot of playtesting, my build is pretty similar to his. It's only like one or two cards off, so. Uh, he's a really cool guy and does a lot for me, so check him out. And I'm going to get started with this really quick. Try to just video as quick as possible. My starter, I'm using the Grade 3 Searcher. Um, I use her over the Legion one because the Legion one's kind of slow. Um, you, this deck plays a lot more aggressively, and I'd rather use this card for the consistency and help me get the right grade three I want. So, and if I don't need her, I can retire. For my triggers, I'm doing four heals, four stands, because Ernst is probably one of the best trigger effects, if not the best trigger effect in the game. He goes back to the deck and replaces himself. And then, uh, eight crits. Um, I'm doing this lineup because this deck is really aggressive and it needs aggressive triggers. Um, for the grade ones, doing for Rebecca. Uh, she's our 7k and she swaps something out for something else and thins the deck. Um, good card. I like her. Still at four. Um, then I have three Ruth, uh, my 10k attacking grade one. She hits really solid numbers and beats down the opponent really quickly, um, which is how the deck plays. Um, I used to always want to play her at four, but you gotta make choices. Um, then I've got four perfect guards. I like them a lot more than the quintet wall. The quintet wall. You want to use early game, but if you're using it early game, you're kind of wasting it. So I like the perfect guard a lot better. And then last, three uh, broccoli musketeer. She's really cool. If your deck is shuffled all, she's a nine booster, so she combos really well with the grade two to hit uh, the grade two 12k to hit 21. That's really the best thing she's for. She doesn't really matter too much else who she combos with, but it's really just for him to hit 21. I don't like more than three because it seems too much, and I don't like two because you don't see her enough. Um, for my grade twos, four of the Legion Mate Saul. It's a really cool card, but don't overestimate the effect. It's not as good as it looks. It's useful still, but not that useful. So don't try to spam him too heavily. He's okay. He's not amazing. Um, then for Augusto, our 12k attacker. Um, good number, it hits wings by itself, and team it with Broccoli hits 21, which is a really good number, especially in an aggressive deck. And then my last, I'm playing 3 Sylvia. Uh, she lets you call the top card. Um, pretty cool. I don't like running more than 3 though, because it's too much. I don't want to call too many triggers. Um, and she's kind of weak, so. And my grade 3s. Doing Phil, four of Vila, eh, Alvira, followed by four Vera. Um, I'm not running Martina because Martina's effect is kind of, to be honest, awful. The only thing Martina's honestly good for is to Legion cards back. Um, Vera is just infinitely, infinitely better than Martina. Um, her effect to pump everyone it makes for a really good push, and. The deck honestly needs to have that skill that both these cards share of retiring one to call one, because that's what Skitters are about, deck thinning and being aggressive. Um, riding Martina first is really awful, really throws your game off. Um, and if you even if you have to ride Elvira first, um, that's really the only point of her, is to be a backup. Um, usually not stuck in her too long, usually only on her for like one or two turns before you get to Vera, so... Yeah, so 
as I said, I want to do this profile real quick, and that's what it is here. I've been kind of slow about getting this out. Um, I just didn't get around to it, but thank you for watching anyway, and check out Jonathan's channel. He's a really cool guy. He does a lot for the community. There's a lot of discussions and stuff. Um, thank you for watching.